Scopes of Work Front End Documents is the name of the application. And it's a tool that was built, this one maybe is a little selfish. When I was in operations and having to build buildings, there was many a midnight hour that was spent pouring over specifications, which is the document that the architect issues that tells us everything that needs to go in the building. And we look at the drawings and the specifications together to determine the packages that we assemble for subcontractors to bid. You have your plans, you have your specifications, but sometimes it's unclear in the plans and the specifications of exactly who needs to take what. Um, who you want? Do you want the drywall guy to take this, or do you want the caulker to take this? So what we do is we take a, we give them a scope of work. Say, hey, you take this scope of work, and you take this scope of work. That way, not only can we make sure we have everything in the project covered, we'd also make sure we don't have a whole lot of overlap as well. The application that we've developed allowed the process from a corporate standard to allow all the operations teams, whether they're in Atlanta or Denver, they all have the opportunity that they're all using the same scopes of work. They all have the ability to tailor those around their project-specific needs, but they're all starting from the same core. Uh, you know, I think it's a tool that we can use to communicate better to our subcontractors as far as expectations, and I think our promises to our clients as far as you know, having no surprises on a job, buying it smarter, and then, uh, you know, I think making sure that we have all the bases covered so that you know, when we deliver the project, it, it's on time and on budget. We have anywhere from 45 to 75 subcontractors and suppliers that work on our projects on average. It's really how JE Dunn procures the, uh, all the specialty trades. We're working very hard uh, towards uh, increased collaboration and better communication up front um, and spending a lot more time at the, at the beginning of a project during pre-construction to get it set up for success so that we don't have modifications. So you take the template, you update the details associated with your job, but now you've spent time working on the things that are important on this project. It really assists us in the evaluation process to make sure that we've got the right subcontractor to perform the work and we make the best selection for the owner and also the overall project team. 